Hello friends, let's see the multiple choice questions on mechanical operations. Here, in each question, we have given 10 seconds to solve. If you know the answer, you can comment in the comment box. In this quiz, all questions are related to the screen analysis. Let's see questions. So first question is Screen efficiency is Options are Option A recovery or rejection Option B recovery Option C rejection Option D none of these Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option D, none of these. Now next question is, screen capacity is proportional to, options are, option A, S, option B, 1 by S, option C, S square, Option D, square root of S, where S is screen aperture. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option A, S. Now next question is, Screen capacity is expressed in terms of Options are Option A, tons per hour Option B, tons per fit square Option C, both A and B Option D, tons per hour fit square Your time start now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option D, tons per hour fit square. Now next question is, screen capacity is not function of, options are, option A, its opening size, option B, screening mechanism, Option C, screening surface. Option D, atmospheric humidity. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option D, atmospheric humidity. Now next question is, Increasing the capacity of a screen. Dash. The screen effectiveness. Options are. Option A. Decreases. Option B. Increases. Option C. Does not affects. Option D. None of these. Your time start now. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option A, decreases. Now next question is, in screen analysis, the notation, plus 5 mm slash minus 10 mm, means, particles passing through. Options are, option A, 10 mm screen and retained on 5 mm screen. Option B, 5 mm screen and retained on 10 mm screen. Option C, both 5 mm and 10 mm screen. Option D, neither 5 mm and 10 mm screen. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, 
Option A, 10 mm screen and retained on 5 mm screen. Now next question is, the ratio of the area of the opening in one screen, Taylor series, to that opening in the next smaller screen is, options are, option A, 1.5, option B, 1, option C, root 2, option D, none of these. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option D, none of these. Now next question is, the ratio of the actual mesh dimension of Taylor series to that of the next smaller screen is, options are, Option A, 2. Option B, root 2. Option C, 1.5. Option D, root. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, option B, root 2. Now next question is, 200 mesh screen, means, 200 opening per, options are, option A, centimeter square, option B, centimeter, option C, inch, option D, inch square, your time start now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option C, inch. Now next question is, the opening of, 200 mesh screen, Taylor's series, is, options are, option A, 0.0074 cm. Option B, 0.0074 mm. Option C, 0.0075 cm. Option D, 74 mm. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. So answer is, option A, 0.0074 cm. Now next question is, a hundred mesh screen means that, options are, option A, there are hundred apertures per inch. Option B, each aperture of the screen has a diameter 1 by hundredth inch. Option C, each aperture has a diameter 1 by 100th centimeter. Option D, none of these. Your time start now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. So answer is, option A, there are 100 apertures per inch. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.